Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and tonight's episode is going to be a little bit different. I am over here in my private server. Um, had a somebody joined me a second ago, and I realized that it was um, uh, the um, the link, the private link I left since the live stream yesterday. Anyhow, um, some of you may notice that my base is back, and if you didn't catch the live stream. It was destroyed, and a lot of you have had your bases destroyed, and you're like, oh my gosh, code, help! I can't help you. I cannot help you to restore your base, but I will show you what I did to restore mine. So, um, you may notice that it's not fully restored, it's it's actually a few saves back from the last time that, uh, that it got saved inside the database. Anyhow, <clears throat> so, if you're also here because you saw exploits or you got the tags for exploits, I'm going to show you which one it was as well. Um, you may ask, like, do you know who did it? Yes, I do. Uh, in fact, I am talking to the people that have done it. Uh, you may be like, well, are you going to take revenge? Are you going to report them? No, I'm not. Because it doesn't matter. All right. But I'm not afraid to talk about things like that. And I also, I feel it's my right to discuss it with you, to say, hey, look, don't freak out, okay? Roblox itself is pretty secure, all right? Because they have this thing called filtering enabled, which it used to not be required, but ever since um, 2007, like the end of 2017, beginning of 2018, it became a requirement like it is now required that if your game is going to show up on a public uh, listing it has to be uh, filtering enabled is that is that oh my gosh <laughs> we have some stuck in between there that's awesome so without further ado I will show you what happened let's go over here to the um, Roblox area and let's just pop into Chrome Fade, 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 fade. So here is the live stream where it happened. And I will I will turn down the normal sound. Hold on. There we go. Uh, and then back over here. Um, here right dude, here. You, you know you can just like back up really fast There's into one of these things. Being removed from my base. Now take And there it goes. Granted, everyone that was here inside the server uh, with me was whitelisted. Okay, so in order for these to to somebody to delete your base, you have to whitelist them. With that being said, I'm gonna show you an, the next little part I always warn against, and put the music back up here. All right, I'm just gonna show you menu, whitelist. Okay, big bold red text. Whitelisted people or whitelisted players can steal from you. Period. Dot end of story okay if you whitelist somebody they can steal from you they can take your entire base they can take everything away so that's scary right the, like it makes you second guess like maybe i probably shouldn't whitelist the person that's asking to be whitelisted or asking for money or, or something like that this also goes for somebody that you may think is your friend okay a roblox relationship with somebody that's inside roblox you might have been playing them with them for like a week and you like you helped him gather some wood and stuff like that, and your best buds. You really don't know the other person that's on the other end. So, I mean, <sighs> be careful, okay? Because the moment you whitelist somebody, they have access to your stuff, all right? I did it live on stream. I whitelisted every single person that joined me and followed me in there. So, that's the other reason that I'm not saying, like, oh, it was this person. No, no. <laughs> so, <laughs> next up is, okay, Code, what did you do to get it back? Um, and the answer is there is a form. Fade, 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 fade. Uh, I will leave a link to this form in the description down below. Right here, it's uh, Lumber Tycoon 2 Revert Form. Basically, you come into... Thank you, Seksusthesia, for the subscription. Thank you. Uh, you go in and you type in your user ID. Where do you get your user ID? You come over here, go to Profile. All right, and when you're in profile, up here in the link, this is your uh, ID right there. So it's gonna be user slash ID slash profile. Okay, so copy that, go back over to the revert form, type it in there, paste. 
I think I've, I've I said this in the last one, but I wanted to make a dedicated video to it to show the whole process. Come in and put in a fun fact about yourself. I am a YouTuber of items. Something like that. Put something actually. Just don't, don't troll it. <clears throat> Anyhow, uh, put something in there. Hit the submit button. Okay, and then there's this going to be this thing for the paste bin. You can keep an, uh, an eye on it and check to see if it's been rebooted yet. Um, they are they, it, it runs and it's just this huge list. So control F on your thing and there you go. Anyhow, the next day and and granted, um, I did contact Defaultio immediately after the stream. I'm like, hey, dude, this happened. This is where it was. Blah blah blah. And you know what he said to me? Fill out the form. So I did, I filled out the form. Uh, right here shows um, where I am loading it back. Hold on, I gotta turn down that sound again. Do, 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 back to settings, there we go. Sound is down, and play. Primary marksman instructor. Do, do, do. I was talking about so the Marine that Corps. That was actually really like fun. That. Uh, well, let's load three. up base number three. Just take a look at it, load. I bet it's got nothing this on was, it. This nothing. was 24 hours. Like the no, he's exact same. Well, a little bit less. Yeah, it just Probably means it can't walk three and a half hours. Like the, the exploit that that guy was doing in the last one, where he's like spinning his body really fast. Do you know how and fast that can get rid of everything? There it is. That's, well, not that. That's not my base. Hold oh, on. gosh. There it is. Yeah. And just select. That's, oh. Go a little bit further. Go a little Confirmed. bit further. Further, further, further. There we go. And boom. So that's the one that got restored. That's the one that you're seeing right now. Now, um, for you all that came here because you were looking for the exploit, or for those of you who would never use an exploit, but you were just curious as to what it was, the name of the exploit is called Vinix. Vinix, right here. You can find it on Vermilion. This does not mean go out to Vermilion and get yourself an account. The reason I'm a member of Vermilion and the reason that I log into Vermilion is to see what people are able to do. Now, this this website is for scripters and for programmers and for everything else. And it's not supposed to be illegitimate, bad, blah, blah. No, I'm just not bad. I, I don't even want to say bad because I did this stuff whenever I was growing up. All right. And I have a past of creating the injectors, not... Not for these, not for Roblox, not for anything bad, okay? My stuff was all on America Online and for Yoohoo, yeah, Yoohoo? No, yeah, Yahoo Messenger. I did a lot of scripting for like bomb bots and for email bombs, stuff like that. I've even programmed viruses, okay? And I wanted to come clean and tell you guys, like, you guys always ask me, like, what's this hacker thing about? Dude, I'm serious. I, like, I programmed some seriously dangerous stuff back in the day. I even know how to program Trojans and Worms and... But that's not my life anymore, okay? That's a, that's a past whenever Code Primate and Heath Haskins were two separated people, all right? But I still keep up on it. I keep up on all the current techniques and stuff like that. So... For you all who were curious as to how it happened and why it happened and what it was, there was an injector, all right? The injector was given a script that goes to LT2. That script creates a GUI, a graphical user interface, on the Roblox client that allows this person to click links, um, type in people's names, and still bases, uh, grab wood, build, um, wire art, there's a whole mess load of functions. Anyhow, this was created by Dino. Yes, Dino, if you're watching, I'm throwing your name out there. Dino. Uh, I believe he's the creator. Completely forgot to vouch. Sorry for Dino. And that's from Austin Games. Austin Games wrote something in here. I'm not going to give too much um, recognition or praise to it, but I did want you guys to be very fully aware. Whether you're an exploiter, whether you're a straight player, whether you're You've never heard of this stuff before, all right? I want you to know that there is a world out there of these things. Um, if you download it, if you use it, you are violating the terms of service you, on Roblox, okay? Do not use it because if you do, you can be banned. <sighs> With that being said, okay, I, th I think I've, I've, I've touched on enough. 
I've given you enough information about what happened, about how I got it corrected, and how if it happens to you, you can get it corrected. One last thing, if your base gets ripped out or if it gets deleted or if it gets stolen, all right, do not build, do not load it up, do not do anything with it. Immediately close out your client, all right? Come out to the form, fill out the form, okay? Do not reload your slot. If for some reason you have to reload your slot, for whatever reason, hold on. Uh, do, 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 do. Fade, 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 fade. Let's go back over here to Roblox. If for some reason you do have to reload your slot for any particular reason at all, all right? Uh, let's just do this real quick. Let's say I'm in here, reload. Say I have not loaded anything yet, all right? You just wanna see if your base is has been restored, okay? I'm gonna hit cancel on this. When the base comes up like this, okay, you can look at it and you can tell if, hey, that everything's wiped or everything's not wiped. This is how you can tell. If it's just a plot by itself and you're moving in between the plots and there's nothing there, do not load it. The moment you do, it's going to uh, try to save it as you close, okay? That's, that's why he says don't build on your base, don't do anything with it. If your base has been wiped, leave it alone. All right, just hit the, the quit button right there. It's like, oh, no property found. Load up one of your other bases. Continue the awesome gameplay of Lumber Tycoon 2. Hopefully, everybody has found this information a little bit more um, accessible, a little bit more exciting, a little bit more educated. And that's the purpose. Like, I wanted to come in and do a video to basically explain what has happened, show what has happened, and by all means, like, I am who I am, and I know the things that I know because of where I was. And these these guys that are creating these programs and everything else, same thing whenever I was a teenager. So that's also why I don't get mad about it, okay? Um, you can't, like, if you whitelist somebody and they do steal your base, that you can't really control what has happened. You can report the person if you'd like. Um, the reason that I didn't report the person is because I know uh, I know some things and I know that it's okay because the only thing I can control is how I react to it. I hope this has been educational and informative and parents the same thing. I, I encourage you to talk to your kids about these things and if you don't know then I encourage you to go and seek knowledge on it. Um, what can be done? What happens inside the game? Why this works the way that it works? Um, if it doesn't interest you or whatnot, that's fine too. Just be passionate about what you do. I know I am. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. I know this was kind of short, but it was also something that I really felt needed to be talked about and discussed um, just because I get a lot of comments all the time of Code Primate, my, my base has been, can you call Defaultio for me? Defaultio has already put into place something that can that can fix this. So if somebody steals an item from you, you whitelisted them. If somebody pushes it off their off your base with an axe, like we saw in the other videos, that's different. That's that's straight up stealing. And hopefully we can get that physics um, worked out eventually. Build build walls around your base. I mean that's that's one way to do it. Um, something else is the spinny person. Um, if somebody comes onto your base and spinny person is out everything, that's that's a different type of script. Um, again, it's all controlled through a, a DLL injector that puts a script onto a client page that you can actually see on the GUI. And what am I talking about with GUI? This right here, that's a GUI, graphical user interface, menus. This thing right here, this is a GUI. Uh, load this right here is a GUI. So. Okay, enough from me. I love you guys very much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the very end like a good YouTuber. But in the end, it's really your choice. I love you guys very, very much. Stay safe out there. And we'll talk to you very soon. <gasps> Outro.